Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And a little something that I picked up that I thought I would show you at Marshalls and Home Goods. So at Marshalls I got coffee, but I also got this olive wood like serving spoon. How fun is that for a charcuterie board? I'm thinking the holidays coming up, this would be great for like dips or anything on like a serving board. It was only $3.99 and it is made out of olive wood. So I grabbed this fun spoon and then I picked up this Hocus Pocus little cross stitching kit. I am obsessed with these tiny little kits. I have one with Pusheen the cat, but it literally comes with everything. You get this tiny little hoop, some needles, the floss. Um, I'm not sure what brand floss, but you get floss. You get little pieces of Ada, which I may do it on my own. And then you get a book with the patterns and like a little directions. And it all comes in this little tiny box. I'm taking that with me on vacation. I am, but I think I'm gonna do it on a bigger piece of fabric. Um, but that whole kit was on, it was only five, $5.99. And I know that they're normally $9.99. So that was a decent deal. Um, it, or $12.50 in Canada. But I love these little tiny kits. They're super cute. So I picked that up for me. And then it is becoming Christmas time in my life and I needed a new cutter, uh, charcuterie board for Christmas. Can you just imagine this? If you did pancakes, you could make like a little mini pancake board or meat and cheese or just put it out for display. It was supposed to come with a spreading knife, but it I don't know where that was. It didn't come with it. Um, it was it is $14.99 and it is called a presentation board with sp spreader and it's made out of bamboo. But I just need this in my life. We can take this off now because it's mine. I'm not giving this away. I'm keeping it. Maybe. Let's see if I can take him out of his little vest. So you can see the whole thing. But isn't that so cute? I mean, even just lay it out or put it down with a bowl with some dip and put some crackers or whatever. I just love it. So I grabbed that. I went shopping with a work friend yesterday and we picked up a few things. I also got a bag of coffee, but... I'm drinking that. Okay, Dollar Tree time. Lots of fun stuff at the Dollar Tree this time. Well, I guess not a lot, but a decent amount. And it's all the different seasons. Um, I found this, which they're calling a brass leaf form, but I'm thinking I might either just leave it like that and put it up or wrap some brown twine real tight around these innards just to give it like some dimension. But I think this is fantastic just to put on a shelf by itself. I'm not sure that I would do anything to it. Um, it says brass, but it's really like brown, but that's okay. So I grabbed just one of those. I'm trying to stop buying multiples of everything unless I think I will need multiples of everything like these. I did need multiples of these. What I think I'm going to try to do um, I like to make felted wool. I should do a video on how I make felted wool ornaments. And I want to make some bulbs out of this size. And instead of making the whole center a ball of wool, I think I can push the, ball, the wool into these balls and do a little ornament. So maybe what I will do is a DIY on making some felted do-it-yourself felted ornaments for Christmas or any, any season, really. So I grabbed that. There is no particular order here. Um, I love the copper and the metals for fall, and I thought this is perfect just to sit on. I mean, it's just a little container. I mean, there's like, I don't even know if the lid comes off. It does. It's just a little fake copper container, but I think it'll be adorable with my fall. I'm really loving the metals and the natural and all the texture. So I grabbed that just to put out. I also picked up these. Now these are Kiwi brand. These are nice branded shoelaces, but if you see they're the curls, they're the no ties. So you, slate, you lace your shoes with these and then they just coil up and you don't have to tie your shoes. So I grabbed a set. 
I don't know if I'll use them. Uh, maybe I'll give them away or donate them. But it's no tie one size. And you just feed them through your tennis shoes and or whatever shoes you want. And you don't have to tie them. They just coil. So I thought that would be super fun. They also had neon ones. I don't need neon shoelaces. I'm telling you I don't. I know these things. Okay. In here. I picked up just a pack of notebooks. I think you get three packages in here. Um, at my part-time job where I work in the football games, we need to write down things. So I um, picked this up just to share with my team. No big deal there. And I, I had hauled one of these in black and then I saw it in silver. And I'm also hoping they come out in gold. I love using metallics to do my Christmas cards or to white write on um, black paper. So this is silver. And they had them in all different colors. I have the black already, but I'm hoping, like I said, I hope they came out with a, um, a gold. I would love to have a gold one to do. Um, in the fall section, they came out with the more of these food picks or decor. They're cupcake picks, but I use them for my um, Hocus Pocus party on the cheese, I just skewered. And you could do like meat and cheese skewers on these. And the top is wood. Now they had pumpkins. I love the acorns. They had acorns and then they had sunflowers. I didn't care for the sunflowers, so I just grabbed these two. Um, I think Thanksgiving is just gonna be me this year, which is fine and dandy because I will, um, decorate for Christmas that day and I'll have Sarah's dog Luna so we might just do a, like a charcuterie board and I'll I'll fancify it with that I think that would be fantastic I love entertaining if you if you haven't guessed I, I do enjoy the entertaining now this year they came back out with the snowman mugs two things one it's, there's no nose. On the other ones, the nose is bumped out. No nose, and they're a little smaller. They don't seem to be as large. I mean, they're not tiny. They're definitely bigger than all the other mugs, but they don't seem to be as big, but I still think I can put stuff in them and make gift baskets, like little mini ones. So I grabbed two. I love these. I had to get my thumbnail if I choose to use that. Um, but I love these mugs. I think they're big enough to fill with candies and treats or coffee or tea and spoons and honey and all the things. And I think they would be pretty darn fantastic. So I grabbed two. Um, they were just coming out of my store and there were only three on the shelf and one of them had like drippy paint. So I didn't need that in my life at all. Um, I grabbed two more of these. Um, I love these for my chair. The cats pull them all the time with their claws. So I just buy them here and there so that I have them when I need to replace it. Now here's something interesting. I'm trying to find the sizes. I found these shirts. This color is definitely showing up brighter than it is, but they're just a short sleeve t-shirt. You know, they have them all the time. However, I've never been into the store that had the same shirt multiple sizes. So this is a 3X. And it's the same color, different tag, same brand. They're both Anvil. I think this one is, this is, I believe, unisex if I had to guess and then this one I believe is a ladies cut yeah seems to be more of a ladies cut so I was able to find two different sizes in the same color shirt so I'm gonna make some Christmas pajamas for some other folks like I did um in my video that I did with the heat transfer vinyl and one of these is for me, one's for Sarah, and one's for her mom. And I think for Christmas, I'll make us all some matching t-shirts because that's fun, right? And we, we have the power to do that. So I'm going to do that. And then at another store, I found, no, this is definitely a ladies. Maybe those are the unisex. This one is definitely ladies. 2X, plain white, v-neck. I'm not doing anything to this. I like to have, it's a little short 
for me, but I like to wear these under cardigans and under sweaters and stuff. And just plain white is perfect for me to do that. Right? Now, I, they were just coming out with all the random stuff when I was at my store. Completely random. They had these little meat sticks. So I grabbed a four pack to throw in my luggage for my trip to have when I'm out and about, because I can have one of these or two of these and a cracker or something, and that will be a good snack for me to have in my purse. If my blood sugar gets a little wonky, I always need to have something with me. So I grabbed that, and then I just picked up more drink mixes because I'm almost out. So I got Grape Crush, which I love. The thing is, these only come with six. I really need to get over to Big Lots. They have better qual uh, better. They have 10 packs for a dollar. I got Orange Crush and I got Hawaiian Punch. I'm just trying to up my my water and this is really the best way for me to drink water. So, I grabbed three packs just to have around the house. It it does really help me drink more water. And then I just have a couple more things. I have my stores are getting in some Christmas and things, but I feel like it's a lot of repeat from last year, so I don't really want to buy the same stuff. Um, I grabbed one of these tiny little foot scrubbers, so this is not a good deal, just so we're all aware. Like they had the, the ones that were four times this size for a dollar twenty-five. I bought this specifically to fit in an advent calendar for Christmas, and I'm gonna get some nail polish or some toenail something to go with it for an advent calendar that I'm doing. So I specifically wanted something small that would fit. So if you're looking for like stocking stuffers, advent calendar, little tiny things, it's a good item for that. It's just not a good deal. So take it for what it's worth. I picked it up. I think I'm gonna get the person some like nice nail polish and for the same, you know, in the day or something to go with that. But I needed something small. And then I just have like three little things and then we're done. Um, I grabbed, they had the hand soap back out and I know these are repeats from last year because I'm fairly certain I had the gingerbread man because this is what I do in my kitchen the last couple years is gingerbread themed kitchen. So I'm pretty sure I had it, but I wasn't hundred percent sure if I kept it. So I just bought I bought a new one just in case. They had all of them at my store. So they had the Santa, the Christmas tree, the snowman, and this. And I love these that they are clear. I just feel like they're, they just feel more classy or more, I don't know. I just like them more appealing. That's the word I'm looking for. They're more appealing to me than the ones that are all painted. Take it for what it's worth. It's purely for me. And maybe these were just left over from last year because I know there was a shortage last year with all the trucks being backed up. So maybe they're just putting out stuff from a shortage. Somebody did post that, and I can't remember who you were, that a lot of the stuff that they're putting out right now was was from last year because of the backup that they had. Um, and I have two more things, and I know 100% this was from last year, but I just loved it. I think I bought it last year. Um, I love the 3D. So the little stocking, um, the coat is 3D, the pants are 3D, and the hat is 3D only on this side and it's glittery, and that side it's not. But I love this and I really would love to find a way to like make this a display. I just love that it's, you know, hanging out on the clothesline and it just says Merry Christmas. And it's really a decent sized bag. Maybe not for $1.25, but I don't buy a lot of gifts anymore. And so I can kind of, I can afford to dress up my gift giving. But this might end up being some type of a like framed piece or something. I'm not sure, but I really like the aesthetic of that. And then the last thing I picked up was this little gnome with the Santa hat. And I did not see this at my stores last year, but I also don't know if this is a repeat from last year. I'm reading the back. Oh, it says EPA TSCA Title VI compliant for formaldehyde. I don't know what that means, but it's cute. 
Also, his little present is 3D, his little nose. Um, there's some glitter, of course, but it doesn't seem to be too much fallout. They also had one that had like a striped hat. I just thought it was adorable. I'd like to take these off their sticks and this may end up like just sitting on a shelf somewhere or in a wreath or somewhere, or I could stick it in a plant. I don't know. I just think they're fun. And I liked that it was Santa. So that's everything that I got at the Dollar Tree this week. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to be pre-recording some videos. So if you see me wearing the same stuff a bunch, that is why. Um, and I'm specifically not saying when exactly I'm going to be on vacation and when exactly I'll be back from vacation because it's not really safe to put that on the internet. But just know that I will be having videos out. You should not see too much of a break, but you may see me not responding or on the Facebook group. We have a Facebook group, by the way. Link is in the description box. I also have an Instagram. But like I said, I, you'll see me maybe slowing down a little bit, but I'll be back. I'm just gonna be gone for a little bit and then we are going to get into the Christmas Thanksgiving of our following Halloween's giving this. We got the giving this part coming. Although fall is still here and Halloween hasn't even happened yet. I'm decorated for it. There's Wellington, I think. Yes, that's Wellington. He just got back from the vet. I can tell you a little story time because we have time. I don't, if you've been around a while, you'll know that this past year he is I've had him at the vet three times for his ears. Digging, scratching, all of that. They can never find anything. Well, the last month, he's been, things have been falling out of his ear, like crusty things. And I'm like, what the heck is that? On my bed, everywhere. In his beds, on the floor. I'll see him shake his head and dig. And then I'll see little dried up things. So I got a little concerned. And I even messaged the vet and they were like, yeah, that could be this or that. Keep an eye on it. If it doesn't get better, bring him in. So I finally made an appointment, took him in last week. And she's like, yeah, I can see that he has earwax, but let's make sure it's not something more. But he wasn't tolerating them digging in his ear very well. I mean, he is 14. He's going to be 15 soon. He's just not tolerating the ear digging. And he has a little bit of a heart murmur. So they didn't want to stress him out to the point of like, causing him harm. So they sent him home with, we came home and they gave me some medicine to give him last night and to give him this afternoon just to calm him down so that they could dig in his ear and see, like they needed to be able to go deep. I apparently older cats can get polyps in their ears, which can cause trouble. So medicated him, poor little guy's been like stoop, drunken stupor around my house all day. And I take him in and they were able to look in his ear and she said that he had a bunch of buildup, but there was no polyps, which is good news. And she tested what was in there and he has two bacterial infections in his ear. So he has eardrops and they were able to get blood work for his senior blood work. So I'll know about that in the next couple days. And they just check for things like blood pressure issues. So if they have heart enzymes, they could have blood pressure issues. They could have diabetes. He gets his liver checked, his kidneys checked. They will check all his different, like a human, you know, they'll just, they just do blood work every couple of years. Um, it's called senior blood work. So they check them all out. And then, uh, yeah, he, he seems to be doing okay. I will give him He's not moving because I think he went 20 minutes without blinking earlier. This medicine has just looped him up. Um, it should be wore off by tomorrow. But anyway, he has ear drops for both ears for the next 14 days. And then he, um, yeah, he should be better. Keep an eye on him. If it doesn't clear up, then I'll take him back in. But $380. <laughs> But that's why I only have two cats. I have a very strict rule. I do not have more cats than I can afford. And that's it. I will not ever be placed into a position that I can't give my cats the care that they need and the food that they need because I have too many. And I'm not judging anybody else. That's my, this is me, you know? And unfortunately, I just, I don't ever want to be put into that position, um, you know, where I can't care for my pets. So that is all. I think I'm done. I showed you everything. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing how I make felted ornaments with 
styrofoam balls and wool and needles. All right, guys, have a good one. I will talk with you later. Bye.